Good morning. We are here with Sammy and Paddington's F3 Mini Golden Doom Puppies. Seven weeks old. Just a few days over seven weeks old. And we are splitting them into three groups today. So this is group one. And group one consists of our Lavender Girl. Her collar is a little short today. Lavender Girl. And our yellow boy. It's a light yellow now. We've run out of dark yellow. Yes, we have. And our orange collar boy, who is in my lap. Okay, you two get off of him so we can see. Here's his orange collar. Yeah. <laughs> so this is group, we're going to call this group one, lavender, yellow, and orange. Yeah. Are you guys going to get out of my lap so we can see you? Can we play with the toys? Yeah, let's go play with toys. Get the bone. Get the bone. So in this group... We have um, two with the fleece cotton mix. So our yellow is a, you're going to have to sit still for me so I can talk about you. Our yellow is a fleece cotton mix coat. So it's really soft, a little more curly. You can see right there. And lavender is also a fleece cotton mix coat. And she's a lighter color. She's got more cream on her with the dark ears. You can see the dark ears. And yellow is more of an apricot, also with dark ears. And he has an undercoating that is a little lighter. And then here we have a cotton, soft cotton wavy coat, which is our, <coughs> excuse me, orangey boy. And he is an apricot, still with the dark ears. Yeah! Who wants the moose? Or is it reindeer? No, I think this is a moose. So everybody would have gotten their temperament testing already. And everybody's pretty similar. We do have a few things that kind of, you know, make them a little, stand out a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. My husband's sewing in the background. Yes. Making our blankets. Blankets? No, 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 I don't think he's making blankets right now. He's making stockings. Yes. Yes, now we're talking about it. Now we're talking. Yellow's our talker. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Yellow is still the first to greet us or anybody when they come in the door. He's probably our most personable. And as you can see, orange is just like, please hold me. Please cuddle me. Somebody did a potty off the potty bed. Ah! I'm being attacked. <laughs> so what we'll do when everybody comes, our first pick is on Friday. And no, I do not know what they're really thinking right now. Being a first pick is kind of hard because you have several favorites. And that can be both genders. So we've had a lot of people that came to us at first saying they want a girl. And after doing research and talking to our other owners, they're like, no, we want a boy. So... Those preferences can change. That's why we want you to kind of wait till, till you meet the puppies, till you uh, see the pictures, temperament testing, and decide. <laughs> That's what you want. Okay, you're being a little spaz. You're being a total little spaz right now. Look at you. Um, <laughs> okay, guys, you need to play with your toys. They just want to sit here and play. Go get it. Go get it. <clears throat> So as far as these three go, um, little yellow is definitely outgoing. Um, he's not afraid of anything, anybody, and he wants to be with you. Yes. And I would say Lavender started out a little more shy, but she definitely, once she warms up to you, she's right there with you. And little Orangey, who's usually, you know, over off to the south, as long as he doesn't 
I have a whole bunch of crazy going on. He's right here. All right, we'll just we'll just lay you down, okay? Let's just lay you down. Lay down. Night night. Let's go night. So Friday we'll have our first pick, and I will let everybody know who that first pick is. A lot of times that sets a domino effect as to who's picking what. And um, then we'll start uh, Saturday morning. Our second pick comes at 10 a.m. Saturday morning. And what we're asking is everybody to make their selection within that first 45 minutes, which if you've been watching video, temperament testing pictures, you should have your top three. We ask you when you come in the door to have your top two for us, and that we do two puppies at a time. As you can see, when it gets to three, it gets a little crazy. So we ask you to limit to two puppies in here at a time. You can look at everybody, but um, and you can play with everybody that has not been chosen, obviously, but we want you to limit that to two. And uh, when we do it that way, if you come in with your, at least your top two or three picks, then um, picking for in 45 minutes is, is no biggie. And then we'll spend the last 15 with um, uh, getting your puppy packet and going over instructions. And I have emailed those instructions and the contents of your puppy packet because I understand you're excited about your puppy, you're playing with your puppy. There's a lot going on and there's a lot to talk about. And it's the holidays and your brains are probably completely full or fried like mine. So we want to make sure that you are ready, that you know what you're doing, that uh, you have a resource. If I am not available uh, to talk to you, especially with it being Christmas, I'm going to be turning my phone off. But you uh, have resources to look at, to reference if you have a question about anything. And obviously, if there's an emergency, I will check my phone. I'm sorry, I didn't change your collar. Did you want any collar? We're running low on orange. We're ru running low on orange and yellow. Yes. The end of the season when we're running low on stuff. Um, but anyway, so by the time you get that picking done, we'll go over your packet and you'll grab your things and you'll be out the door so the next person can come in and choose their puppy. No, 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 we're not going to bite. No. Well, you guys seem awfully close. Let's back up, back up, back up. All right, we're almost done with this video, and then we'll move on to the next group. Yes, are you gonna shake? Can you sit and shake? We're doing crate training right now. We're still doing a little bit of barking in our crates, mostly because I'm in here, or someone's in here, so we make, you know, it makes it hard for them to just calm down. But we still have today and tomorrow. We will not be doing crate training on Friday with the puppy picking and then, you know, because they're all played with and looked over, they usually like to just go get in a pile. Are you looking for a place to poop? Are you looking for a place to poop? Orangey, poop, poop. Try to make the paper, try to make the pad, I mean. Try to make the pad. We're all gonna watch you. <laughs> all right, I'll get you a new collar. I'll get you a new collar. Okay, same with you. No bite, no bite. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about eight minutes in, so we're going to start winding down here and move on to the next group. Yes! All right, and then in my, uh, both the update last week and in when I sent out your puppy picking instructions, I did go ahead and, and reference uh, special things to consider for Christmas puppies. A um, lot of people visiting, busy schedule, you're going to be tired, or if, hey, if you aren't, then, then go for it. Pick up my uh, crate training instructions. That's been emailed. It'll also be printed out in your puppy packet. Take that and run and go with it. Um, but if you want to hang on and wait until after we're done here with Christmas, then reference that. We want you to have a good Christmas, happy memories with your puppy. Puppies are work. Um, especially if you want them potty train and crate train, you're going to have a, a, some work ahead of you that we have kind of given you a schedule and, and some instructions to kind of help you ease into that. So just reference that for what do we do when, you know, it's Christmas and maybe we have to go to grandma and grandpa's and we're not taking the puppy or do we take the puppy? All of that is kind of referenced there so that you make sure your puppy is protected, healthy, doesn't get overstressed. And um, also that you start off on the right foot because you definitely don't want to set in some bad habits. Yes, bad habits can be changed, but no, like that. We have to correct. We have to correct. No bite. Absolutely no 
<laughs> no bite. No bite. You want to be close to me. All right, we're going to say goodbye to this group and move on to the next one. This was group one with lavender, yellow, and our orange collar baby.